Hey, good morning, this is Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens, and we're coming to you from Canton, Michigan. We're going to be doing a pond for the neighbor of a pond that we did three years ago. I'll go over there in a little bit to show you how that pond is actually progressing, because it's been about three years since we did that one. But we're at the neighbor's house, and um, we're going to be building a, a 14 by 20 foot ecosystem pond. We're going to be using the Aquascape Signature Series Skimmer, Aquascape uh, signature series biofalls. We're going to probably do a dual stream. We're going to see how that shakes out as we start building up the uh, the waterfall. But I'll turn the camera around. Let me show you the footprint that we've got laid out right now. We'll get to meet the homeowner and we're going to get to meet Colby. Colby, you're going to love him. All right, so we've got a fully landscaped backyard and a brand new subdivision that's getting built up every day. Um, houses are popping up all over the place and they're still going. We've even, you're going to hear the Blue Angels, uh, some planes overhead because they're doing some test runs right now, probably for a weekend air show. We've got a 14 foot by 20 foot ecosystem pond going in. It's going to go right adjacent to the walkway here and then we'll pop out these shrubs here and replant them in, um, in the landscape, maybe even use some of them around the waterfall. Let me introduce you to the homeowner and Colby. Guess which one's which? <laughs> Just kidding. This is Sayer, and this is our baby here, Colby. 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 Colby, how you doing? He's camera shy. Camera shy. All right. The homeowner's been waiting for us all summer long, and of course our schedule's been really busy, but we're going to have a lot of fun here on his project. I'm going to go take a look at the neighbor's pond right now. I want to get. Uh, I want to show you how that looks after about three years. Alright, so this is a pond that we did approximately three years ago. Now that's the Blue Angels flying overhead. Look at that formation. Never get tired of seeing that. The water hyacinth and water lettuce are really starting to uh, take over this section of the pond. It's about three and a half, four foot deep. The pump is struggling a little bit only because ah, it just needs to be cleared. But look at these babies. They are loving this pond. Nice hiding spot. Look at that. You can't have a better fish cave than living underneath all those all, all day. Wow, she's got a lot of fish in here. I think the neighbor's going to inherit some of these fish. The clarity is outstanding based on the fish load on this one. so we've been digging all day Brian and Jay are right now just shaping up the sides getting it all formed look at the precision on the bottom of that pond man you think he's done this in a previous life or something 
is the master. All right, so we're going to be doing a retaining wall around this tree here. And then we'll have our biofalls way back over here, about 10, 12 foot off the edge of the stream. We're going to do a secondary waterfall coming off the side, so that way we get the viewing area from over here on the patio. So we've got a three foot depth pond. We've got a small shelf right here in front of the, uh, the last waterfall drop. We're going to be doing a fish cave over here, right about and through here. Water lily shelf here. We've got our boulder shelf for in front of our skimmer. So it's coming along right now. And uh, we've got a boulder drop coming in on Tuesday, um, three days from now. So we've got the weekend. And then um, Monday we're gonna come in and we're gonna drop in uh, our liner, our skimmer, our piping, biofalls, and uh, secondary spillway box. Thanks for watching so far. Any questions, leave them in the comments below and we'll be happy to answer any of them. So we're here on day two, waiting for the uh, boulder delivery. The crew is on their way. So I'm just gonna work on uh, getting a couple details out of the way. A couple sprinkler lines that are running, they were running across the pond for the area. So I'm gonna pull these back into the bed, get them up, that way the uh, irrigation contractor that comes out to repair them, um, he'll take care of that. But at least they'll be out of the pond what we do is we'll bend them over and then put a clamp on them so that way um, no water comes out just in case that zone gets activated. Playing around a little bit with the stream, we've got water level. This last drop right in through here, that one's going to be approximately four to six inches of a drop. And then we've got the one behind it, another six inch drop. And one behind that, another six inch drop. So all this soil that came out of the 14 by 20 pond at three foot deep, our goal is to blend it just to the sides. So it doesn't look like a volcano had erupted out of their backyard. So from any angle, you'll be able to see these, these drops coming right back towards the house. And that's our goal is so that way you can see it not only from when you're outside, but when guests come around over here and they see the, the backyard for the first time, we want them to get this look. So they're gonna come in, they're gonna see that upper waterfalls right in through there. They're gonna see the last waterfalls. But as you're walking around, we've got a secondary waterfalls that's gonna be over in through here. We'll use an aquascape spillway box for that. So that'll come into the side wall of that upper portion of the stream. When you're on the patio, here you've got a, a side view of the last drop this middle drop is facing a gathering area right here on the patio and then you've got the secondary waterfall that's facing you and then you've got the the one coming right out of the biofalls that'll be another side view we don't want waterfalls that are you know a set of steps coming right back down at you one two three very boring it doesn't happen like that in nature so when we're creating things we don't want to make just a series of drops coming straight back towards the viewing area because that's to us that's pretty boring so our goals for today are to get the underlayment the liner the piping the skimmer the biofalls the um, spillway box we'll get those in place we want to get as much of the boulders off the street here as possible other than getting the pond uh, liner and components in place we want to get those boulders moved into the backyard that way we can get started either later today or tomorrow rocking in the pond now we've got threats of weather uh, coming in by that I mean thunderstorms and rain um, we don't mind getting wet it's just when you have thunderstorms and you're working with 
uh, ponds. You know, you don't know where a lightning strike is going to happen. So, um, you know, we got to keep everybody safe out here. So, without further ado, um, I'm going to work on some more of these details before the crew gets here and hopefully before the boulders get here. All right, Jay is uh, graveling up the pond right now. He's got a prime, primarily all this shelf done right now. But I inadvertently forgot that we've got a downspout here that is coming down here. And we took it out on day one. It was a little pop-up, so it went out into the lawn. But what we've got to do before we build any higher on this wall right here We've got to fold the liner back. We've got to get a trench along here. So that way we can daylight uh, the downspout because that's a lot of roof area and we don't want that water to go underneath the pond. Even though it is kind of a sandy site, um, we don't want to trap any of that water underneath the pond and because if the water gets trapped underneath, the liner will pull up from the bottom, pull down from the sides, and then the pond won't hold any water. Hydrostatic pressure will cause, you, know, you think these boulders are big. I've seen boulders at three foot, four foot, that because of the hydrostatic pressure underneath the liner, it will move those boulders out of place. So I'm gonna run up to the supply house and I'm gonna grab some uh, four inch corrugated drain tile. We'll make that connection. Once we do that, we can finish rocking this up here. Jay's gonna keep going with uh, graveling up the bottom. Just a little snag, but um, you know, something that's got to get done. We're going to have a retaining wall around this. Um, what is that? Forgot the name of that tree now. Buckeye? <laughs> No, that's not birch. Um, ash? Ash. It's not an ash. ash. 